Welcome back to the Men on the Internet podcast. Hey. It's me. It's Crystal. Ow. Back on the show, ready to offend once again. Never stop. What you been up to, Crystal? <laughs> you know, the same old grind, just working and talking shit on stage. Come on. Hey. You had a show recently? Um, yeah, I had some roast battles recently. Um, those went those were fun, as always. Did you win? It's a man generation. You lost. Ah! You lost, son. I feel like I should have won, but whatever. You don't. Don't call me a show loser. You're right. That's how I would say to my son. Mm. Hey, hey, yo, did you win the football game? Mm. Oh, but dad. Oh, the other <laughs> team. I just shut up. <laughs> did you win? That's 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 it. That's all that matters. No, that's okay. So you didn't win. I didn't win. Did you get second place? Well, it, I mean, there is no second place. It's just you and versus another person. So, okay, so you were the first to lose. I guess so. <laughs> so what? Was, go ahead, give me not the me. first to lose, but like, because um, there were some other losses that I think I was like the third battle that night. So what was um, your explanation? You said that it's a male generated sport. It's a it's a male. I shouldn't say generated. It's just dominated, like male. mostly men. There are of course women that win those, but it's mostly men like no matter what no matter what yeah is it because do you think men are a little bit more savage like or do does the audience take the jokes that men say as a little bit more savage than when a woman says it i think unfortunately comedy in general is very like men dominated but you know i can also say like even having said that like my favorite comedians are guys but like hearing like some of the female like roast battlers, um, I would say like they're definitely as good, if not better, than some of the men. So yeah. I just I just wish it was like a little bit more equal in that way. But you know, name it name happens. Three female comedians: Monique, um, Wanda Sykes, um. <laughs> the lady from out here, she just went to jail recently. Um, she's from South LA. Oh my gosh, why am I drawing a blank? She's so famous too. <gasps> uh, dang, that's so bad. L- L- Lampanelli, somebody. Um, what, what the hell? <laughs> what was that? What was uh? Is her name Lisa Lampanelli? Chelsea Handler. She's a female. She's throwing words together. Now. Yeah, I'm like, abracadabra. <laughs> like, Bart. Bart. Simpson. Ah, uh, Lisa Simpson. Damn. <laughs> no, but, yeah. So, I don't know. I felt like his, like, uh, what some of the judges were, like, saying, like, oh, because, okay, so I'm not going to lie. So, the person I roast battle was, like, a guy in a wheelchair. And, um... <laughs> Did you tell him to stand up? <laughs> I did. Ah! I made a joke about oh, no, but okay. Before you start on. feeling bad, it was not. It was. It was gang related. He wasn't like born like handicapped or something like that. So it's, it's even not. worse. Yo, he gave him his life for the set. No, oh, well, damn. No, you Man, know, you gonna make fun of loyalty. Okay. Anything to win. She, huh? she should have got away. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, In the game of life. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, he won the roast battle. So at least he's winning at Legs something. Legs don't work. But yeah, but at least hey. He knows how to roast. At least he knows how to roast. Did he do the thing like when you said a you can't walk joke and he's like, ah, I can't, yeah. Uh, I mean, you, he made faces, but like, I really wasn't looking at his face, like, while we and were. You can't look at paraplegics? No, my gosh. I mean, I'm in my own world when I'm roasting. I don't have right, to, like, right. I'm going to interact right. a little bit, but. World with cabinets. Right, right. right. A world up here and not Good. down oh, here. Shoot. <laughs> no, but he's a cool guy. 
Word. You mm. think he knows Lisa Lambert Nelly? <laughs> he probably does. Okay, maybe. Then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Did y'all have to help him get on and off the stage? Someone did, because Comedy Store, unfortunately, is not handicap uh, accessible. accessible. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But shout out to the winner of the Rose Battle. Mm-hmm. A good man in a wheelchair. Yeah. Standing on. Last man Bam. not standing. Oh. It, don't. <laughs> The show um, is over. Yeah, the roast battle is over. Let him live. Oh. Just like the shooter did. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. All right. What else has been going on in your entire life? Um, your eyebrows look good. Thank you. Drew them on, as mm-hmm. usual. Mm-hmm. It's a little different arch this time. Oh, is it? Oh, Ow. A little arch. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, 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 the uh, the Jeezy and Nia Long conversation. Oh yeah. yeah, what was that? What were they talking about? Each other. Oh, he was trying to like holler at her. Nah, sorta kind of. Um, nah, sorta he need to kinda. stay where he was at. Don't try to come back to the sisters now. Nah, you know they always gotta have a little bit of love for Jeezy. Oh man. And did you, you hear that did? Nelly and Ashanti are having a baby? What? I heard they were getting back together. I didn't know there was a baby involved. They've been back together. Oh wow! Yeah, well, yeah, that, yeah, that they're back together. Yeah, and a lot of it's making a lot of people go back to the exes. That's disgusting. I mean, right? Because I remember you said I never. No, you can't go back and dig out of the trash can. Why well, ex got to be trash? Because if they were not trash, then we'd still be together. You don't believe in wrong time, right person? Uh, I kind of, but like, all most of my relationships end in like a crash and burn. So like, I'd be like, fuck all them niggas. Who, 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 who you think is that fault? Him. They, if if I if it was if it was ever me, then they wouldn't come back. Mm, explain that one. Because like, if I was really such a problem, then like, why try to like double back? Mm-hmm. I don't be trying to double back with people. Right. I don't be spinning the block. Because you're an angel. I wouldn't say I'm an angel. Like, there's definitely, like, probably ways I didn't have to react certain ways. But, like, I'm always reacting. I don't ever start the trouble. I just react to it. I understand. You know. I understand. Mm-hmm. Well, what what was the best Christmas you ever had with one of these pieces of trash boyfriends that you've had in the past? Huh. Uh, la, 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 la. Christmas. Um. And this Christmas. And this Christmas. Um. Oh, I remember one person I dated. We went to like um, we went to like breakfast, and that was cute. I don't have a lot of super memorable Christmases with my exes. Come to think of it. Um, nothing spectacular. I remember, yeah, I just remember going out to eat. They never gave you a good gift? Oh, there were some good gifts. Um, but I feel like nothing necessarily specifically on Christmas, but just like throughout relationships, I've gotten like some decent things like clothes, shoes, um, concert tickets. That was really nice. Um, yeah, other than that, I hate the whole like everyone's so obsessed with this like matching pjs crap like what is the purpose of that are we 12 years old you're saying you don't like matching christmas pjs yeah i think it's so corny you don't have a heart oh please <laughs> that shit is lame you don't have a heart <laughs> here, i know i know if the right tall dark and handsome mr or mrs come around Mm. You about to put a matching sock on. I know that for sure. Uh, so I wouldn't though. Like the most I would match with someone is like like colors. Like we could wear like a co- colors that complement each other or like that kind of match. But to wear the same outfit, like I would never think to do that. That's because you never felt love before. Oh my gosh, no, that I never felt gay before. <laughs> That could be an argument. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I can't say that. I can't say. I can't say. I never felt, you know, gay before. But I never felt like lame, like cheat, like corny before, like that corny to be wearing like matching like snowman 
pajamas. Like, ew. Pajamas. Pajamas. So you would never wear, you would never wear a, like, I'm with her. Oh my God, that's so lame. Like, I hate that shit. I'm with her. Like, yo, like, you're so desperate. Like, look at me. Like, I have a mate. Oh, like, I'm so special. Like, you are so lonely, yo. <laughs> no. You are so lonely. It, no, no. When I, I was can, with someone. I'm pray for you. No, when I was with someone, I would never wear that dumb outfit. Like, I hate all those outfits that be like, um, those Disney ones that be like, uh, what do they say? Like, um, mini num not mini number. Well, there's like a saying, and I can't think of it right now. But it's like, um, it'll be like number one, number two, number three. Thing like one thing. thing two. Yeah, like no, never. That's so. I'm gonna save a copy of this episode. Yep. Save it in, in twenty years, you've ten never, years. You never felt true love. No, I have. I nah. just don't feel it like that. True no, corniness right? is what that is. Listen, if you came to me and you told me you never did a love bomb, you know what a love bomb is? When they hug you and they shake. Oh, I would definitely do that. Okay. I'm sure there's corny Stop. stuff. Stop. I, I, I would do that, but I'm not wearing some clothes, like, publicly. You know what's crazy? I'm not going to say. Okay, so I knew someone in high school. And now, this was fucking embarrassing. I'm sorry. But he had his baby mom and, like, his wife. Like, I guess, like, they all went out somewhere, like, Disney or somewhere public and one it said like wife and then bonus mom wait wait what what yeah like it oh, was like his wife's mom no 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 it was like baby it was either like a baby I think it was like first baby mama and then like the current one and then like the current person he's like married to so he had a child with another woman. Yes. And then he's calling the first baby mom bonus mom. Yeah. To the new baby. Yeah. And they had a sh had it on a shirt. Yeah. That's a little. That is crazy. That's 2014 Facebook. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like stuff you would see, and then people would leave comments like, "That is true." Yeah. Like, that's yeah. How you truly run oh a family my God. and all this stuff. But I can see you being a thing one thing too. You know why? Why? Because you look like a who. Oh, wow. You look like someone would punch after the podcast. You look like a who. I don't look like a who. You, do, you got that little pointy nose and everything. And I guarantee. What is that from? Like the Grinch? Yeah, but I never saw it. Oh, yeah, me either. But I've seen the pictures. Ah. And yeah. I guarantee there's going to be a nice, corny guy. Who's like corny in a good way? He got a good job. Lame, lame. Right. You you can be lame, but we don't have to advertise it. I feel like you're beating people over the head by wearing those shirts. I'm so lame. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the idea of you not wanting to wear PJs at Christmas. Yeah. No. What if they don't matchy match, but they're like a part of a set? Um. And then I also feel like that's so like slouchy and just like you just don't care. I feel like if anything, if you're taking Christmas pictures, you should dress up in like some nice clothes. I don't feel like you should wear some like, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't walk out in public in pajamas. Yeah, but this is like, it's like. like at home for the holidays. I also don't like Christmas. So maybe that's also why I would never wear like matching PJs. I know. Yeah. Now I'm gonna pray for you. Are you gonna? Would you wear matching PJs? Listen, I would. Um, I, I've never done anything Christmassy except for this tree now behind you. Okay. It's my first Christmas thing. Mm -hmm. I have given gag gifts. Oh and yeah. Like little like gifts and mm -hmm. stuff, but I've never expressed Christmas. Okay. But if I was with somebody and she was like, yo, put on a, a thing, a one thing, thing works. Like, right, whatever. You would wear it. Yeah, it's not a big deal. And it's kind of cute. It's kind of immature, but sure. <laughs> we we would have had like unicorns, rainbows, clouds, little Lisa Frank shirt. You gonna wear that too? Be in me. <laughs> Organize on me. <laughs> Already, 
Tell me what you need, mm -hmm. I swear. You know what song that is? Mm -mm. This is Drake. Yeah, it's called Jaded. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> In five years and ten years from now, you will still not see me wearing matching PJs. Why would anybody need you to wear your Sunday's best? That's Easter on Christmas. Because, like, well, like, if you're going to, like, a family dinner or something like that, I feel like you should dress up. Why you don't like Christmas? You don't like Jesus? No, not that. But I, this is like a, a, a sad reason. But I, actually, I feel like a lot of people can relate to it. Um, like when you've lost like family that's like close to you and stuff like that, Christmas is not the same. Especially like older family members that really used to like keep the family together and have gatherings and stuff like that. Like once you take that aspect out of it, and then I've also been away from home for like 15 years. So I do go home sometimes, but it's just not the same. Like I said, because like family members that just aren't around anymore. So I haven't been like a Christmas person in a long time. It's just another day for me. You're like Jewish. I guess we could say that. Yeah, they're not Christmas You, you go to the Chinese food place? That's what I do. I know you do go to China. I want. I do. I should start like a new thing. Like, what would make Christmas nice for me is like if I saw snow because I've never like touched snow before. So that would be cool. Or like to go ice skating. Like do some like winter wonderland thing. Maybe that'd be cool. I I, I feel like that it takes effort mm -hmm. to make a new thing. Yeah. Because yeah, you could for the rest of your life you're gonna be like, well, these people died. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I left home. Da, da, da. There's a bunch of reasons. Yeah. But one day you might just get up and just be like, you know what? I'm going ice skating. I'm going to go look at the tree in downtown. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with my friends. I'm going to go drink champagne yeah. and whatever and just make a thing out of it. And you might, you just might find a new reason. To like Christmas. For the season. For a reason for the season. Hey, Amen. hey. You're right. But yeah, I need to like start doing something that's like. I don't know, a, yeah. a tradition for myself. It's not good for you to be light skinned and have a dark heart. Ah! Ice cold blooded. What's your favorite holiday, Kelby? Easter. I, okay. Why Easter? I love the. Resurrection. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't celebrate Easter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Uh, Easter. I don't celebrate it, okay? <laughs> Hell. Like. Okay. I don't celebrate. Let's be clear. I don't celebrate the religious part. But okay. I like the food. I love the food. I love Easter food too. I like the deviled eggs. Oh yeah. Deviled I like eggs. the like colored suits. Okay, yes. Bright and yep. audacious. And I love the weather. I love the spring weather, yeah. Same. Spring weather That's Easter my favorite. is always just like a good day. It feels good outside. It does. It rarely feels bad people mm -hmm. outside in the parks it's not too hot it's not too cold it's a little cool wind yeah like it just feels good mm -hmm. feels like a good day i feel you uh, on that so yeah like easter you yeah know? and then you get like a mini thanksgiving mm -hmm. meal meal but then you do it with your homies and whatever and there's yeah. like no pressure mm -hmm. it's not that big of a deal and then everyone's kind of spiritual that day yeah everyone it's is like kind of nice, spiritual yeah you know i feel that yeah it is a little pressure if you're depending on like what you're if you do celebrate it for like the religious reasons and like there was pressure going up. You had to have a nice outfit on Easter Sunday. Like that was not a joke. Oh, People, I never celebrated it. Oh, yeah. OK, well, I'll explain. But. When you grow up and that is like something that people celebrate, that's like the one day that people that don't go to church come to church and everyone's like in their best outfits. And it, it was like a requirement to like good, look good that day. I love that. So um, and that's like still a thing because like I remember I went to someone's church out here on Easter and everyone's like dressed to the nines. That's right. So which I love. I love when people like make an effort. I'm like, oh, this is great. You know that one church out here in L.A. where all the strippers go to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we all know that one. Yes. Do they dress Hollywood. nicely there? Like in That's a good question. Oh, my gosh. Like, in <laughs> their stripper outfits? I have no clue. Like, I went there, like, but on a, like, on a Bible study night. Like, not That's on a what Sunday. That's I did, too. Oh, you got to go on a Sunday. You got to go on a Sunday, probably. That's probably when they be there. Yep, yep. Not you going to church to pick up the hose. <laughs> <laughs> I went just to... Right, right. Study the field. Right, right. Ah. You know, I just went to study the field. To find your um, 
Jezebel. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was a long time ago. Uh-huh. But once I heard about Last it. Last Sunday. My, no, no. no <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do the Sunday. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's right. You do but my week. my friend was just like, yo, you know about the church that got all the scruffles. Oh, my I was gosh. Like, what you talking about? <laughs> Where is like, it at? <laughs> Write it down. That's exactly what I said. Give me the address and the location. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm on my way right okay. now. We got a service tonight. You know what's crazy? My friend told me about it. And then I went and got a haircut. My barber was like, yo, I'm about to start going to church. I was like. What? Yeah. Yo, uh, what? He was like, there's a church that got number strippers. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? There's some truth to it. Even to the to the ones that don't, aren't like known for us like strippers. But like, it do be some freaks at church. Like, oh, look at it. I, I'm the there. there. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, people usually go because like. Not, I'm not saying like I couldn't say people usually go, but like like the women that be in there some of the time be in there because they done done like so much crazy stuff. They're like, yo, it's time to get my right like my my life right with the Lord. That's like, right, and they I've still done enough, and they still yeah, because yo, know, you be dipping back in that temptation. Well, yeah. <laughs> you be leading the church astray, right? <laughs> leading the church astray with them short skirts. So. Shoot, no, nah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's bad. It's so bad. Um, mm-hmm. Do you think that's why Lil Nas X is now a Christian singer? He is? What? When did that happen? He put out a, a Christian song, he, the lyrics or something along the lines of, uh, Father, stretch my hands, pour blessings upon me, something like that. I would question that. That seems like it can't. I need to hear his whole testimony. This seems like out of left field. I mean, maybe he is a Christian now. But like, bro, you were just doing the most. Like he was talking on the devil. Yeah, like stop it. I can't. I can't believe it's not believable now. You know, I feel like I was bamboozled by Kanye West's Christian. Ride. Whoa! I actually am a fan of that. I lo- I loved it. Yeah. I loved the music, but now he put out this song that nobody listened to, and it was like. Now I'm having sex with all these girls, and he's supposed oh, to be married, and he's um, effing Scooter's girl, and this and that, and how am I anti-Semitic, and all this stuff. And no. I'm like, what happened to the Christian kind Yeah, he's yeah. He's like cursing and all this stuff in the song. I don't like that. Oh, yeah. That's not cool. How you just go backwards? I, don't know I mean, that. it happens in real life with, like, you know, people trying to, like, be good, and then, you know... You- Things happen. He even performed at Joel Osteen's church. He did. Wow. Yeah. With Joel Osteen, you scamming ass. Like, <laughs> it's a hurricane time to lock the doors. <laughs> Lawsuit in three. Right. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Why are you talking about me? Right. <laughs> what did I ever do to you, <laughs> sister? Except for this lawsuit. Right. I'm slapping Cease, on you. Deceased <laughs> and believe. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hallelujah. Pass that that uh, basket around three more times. So, do you go in the Haitian community? Mm-hmm. December thirty first, you have to go to church that night. Oh, watch night. Oh, you do that? Uh, we used to. Yeah, I, my church out here doesn't have it, but back home, yeah. Okay, Cause Florida seems a little bit more blessed than California. Definitely. <laughs> California. We've spent a, a few. Uh, we've had some blessed years. It don't seem that blessed. So much. No, I mean the activities. It's not oh. like blessed activities. Yes, yes, you're you right. Know? Yes, like yes, the, yes. We've spent New Year's Eve with each other quite a few times, mm-hmm. and there was one. The one time I really remember, we was in like a Jamaican club. Oh, that sounds about right. I like had the worst night of my life. Oh no! Well, no, it was happened? great, but I okay, just didn't want to be there. Yeah. Oh shoot. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's not your music. No, not at all. Yeah. They're talking about. Pando Aina, a tree to one. We in a new year. Hey, we. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is way too loud. I'm used to being at church. Hallelujah. Right, hallelujah. Okay, Chris over here pulling me out to the. To the pom pom. I could. There was no pom pom for me. Oh, that's why you're a virgin. A virgin where? Where it matters. <laughs> Where it counts. Where it matters most. Oh my gosh. My heart. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't hear about watch activities out here, like watch night, but I'm sure they exist. I just at don't know about trash. it. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Watch out for that. At- <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's say a couple is broke. 
Okay. A couple is broke and they don't have a lot of money to give each other Christmas gifts.、Mm. What is one or two gifts that you would recommend a broke couple to give to each other、uh, for Christmas? Ooh.、Um, maybe flowers. Or you could, you could cook for the other person, do some kind of act of service.、Um, maybe go for a nice drive. You have gas money. <laughs> That's the gift.、Uh, maybe if you're like driving this person to a place that they really like. To,、um, to hell. To like, hell. <laughs> what that sounds I, like. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be optimistic、uh, with these、uh, suggestions. But yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do, but there's people like sentimental stuff. Maybe you could make them like a photo album of special times y'all had together. I can see why you don't want to do thing one, thing two. <laughs> I, but I mean, like, I just.、Oh, what, what ideas do you have what, for this? I'm trying to think. Like, I love gifts.、Mm-hmm. You love g- getting gifts or giving、uh, gifts? I love giving gifts. Oh, so what'd、like, you get me for Christmas? Get,、mm-hmm. Getting gifts is nice as well.、Um, but I love giving gifts. Yeah. And I think if I was broke、what、and I was、do? dating somebody, I would A, recognize my brokenness in October. Yes. Okay. Recognize it ahead of time. Right. I'm going to think about that. Okay. Let me put, let me put a little $50, $60 together、mm-hmm. to make something happen. Yeah. Now, second, I would try to get them something that I know would last a very long time.、Mm. Could be cheap, but I want you to always come back to that gift. Yeah. No matter what somebody in the future gets you,、mm-hmm. because you're going to think, like, I knew he didn't have a lot. But he put something together for me and I, I, just, I can't throw it away. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. Like something they could really use, like no, get them like a tire or something. No, no, no. <laughs> a used tire, a patch. Get them an oil change. <laughs> They'll never forget me. <laughs> Said something they could use for a long time. A you can、change. use the oil change for a long time, depending on the car. Three months later, it's over.、Mm. Okay, I'm talking about stuff that lasts years. Oh, okay. Yes, like what?、Years. A clock? Maybe. Like,、mm. it depends. I'm a very. A watch?、Uh, maybe. A painting. You see, now you're thinking.、Mm. So、I'm a very sharp listener. Yeah, yeah. And I remember a lot of things.、Mm-hmm. So, you might have said something to me in April. Yeah. And then I'm going to come back, like, I、uh, put this together. Yeah, yeah.、Um, so, yeah, it might be a watch.、Mm-hmm. It might be, it really depends on, like, you. I guess, it, I guess what the real question is how big of a budget? Because 50, 60, you might be able to get them something that's, like, durable and, like, they could like that. But if, the, if it's, like, $10, then, you know, <laughs> what's the level of broke? If you got、here? $10, don't buy anybody a gift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buy your way to Craigslist. Matter of fact, <laughs> get out of that relationship. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah, you shouldn't even be in a relationship. You need to focus on bettering yourself at that point. If you don't have at least $50 to give somebody a gift, and you、mm-hmm. can just pick one person in your life, but let's say it's the person you're dating. Yeah.、But、if you don't have $50,、mm-hmm. and you <laughs> Christmas come the same day, yeah. Every year. It's not like it came out of nowhere. It's not a surprise. <laughs> it's not a surprise. You could have budgeted for it. Back in March. Right, you really could have.、Uh, let me put $10 aside this month. Right. And then X amount of months later, you have some. Yeah. If you don't have $50. Right. Lord knows. Right. Break up. Yeah, yeah. Because you worried about the wrong damn Get thing. Get your act together. You know, there was this story、mm-hmm. I loved.、Um, I shot a wedding、mm-hmm. some years ago. And, oh, man, I hope they're not divorced.、Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> It was this very inspiring story. It was a, a, a guy and a girl, Filipinos.、Mm-hmm. And they, I think they came to the country when they were kids. Okay.、Um, they hired me from Thumbtack. I go over to their house right here in North Hollywood. Nice. I go and I see two Pearl BMWs. Damn. Brand new. I love the Pearl color. And I walked in and I said, Yo, whose BMWs is this? The guy said, I bought matching cars. I know you hate this one. Matching cars is something else.、Okay. And I kind of like that、He、idea. He said, I bought two matching cars as a wedding gift to my new wife.、Mm. Cash. Ooh, love that. I said, Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. I walk inside the house. 
nice, beautiful house, detached garage, everything nice. Had the old car in there, had his homies up in there, turning up, lit. Hey. I said, yo, what Airbnb is this house? <laughs> he said, this ain't no Airbnb. This is my house. I bought this one. Okay. You know why? Why? I'm about to have a family. Okay. I can't have us living in an old apartment. Mm. So shoot, I this man it. is standing on business. It's standing on, I love okay. to hear it. Standing on business. Mm -hmm. I said, shoot, what kind of job do you have? Right. He said, I'm a respiratory therapist. Okay. I turned around to all of his uh, his groomsmen. I said, what do you guys all do? Twelve of them. They're all Twelve. respiratory therapists. Every single one. Dang. I said, shoot. Y'all all make money? They said, yeah, except for that one over there. He only makes 85K a year. Oof. I, only 85. That's what that said. Yeah. Only. Right. He was like, well, you know, I only work three days a week. So I said, shoot. Everybody here is making six figures, buying houses, cars, mm -hmm. and all this stuff. So I do the wedding. Beautiful wedding. Yes. I find out the woman works in HR. She only makes 65K a year. Okay. I said, okay. I wonder what happened mm. in this couple, in this relationship. That made this man who he is today. Because uh -huh. I could tell he wasn't always like this. Mm -hmm. So I, during the reception, I walk around. I look at the tables. There's pictures of them around the world together. Mm -hmm. On cruise ships, boats, helicopters. They're in, uh, uh, in, in, in Alaska, one picture. They're in Africa, another picture. They're in Italy, another picture. They're all over the world. Love it. So she gets up. She goes to do a, a speech. And she says, I want to tell everybody... Why I married this man that I've known since I was 19 years old. Okay. <laughs> she goes, when we started dating, he wanted to be a fashion designer. And he was broke. Damn it. And I said, I'm not being with no broke man. Mm. So I broke up with him. Oh. He pursued being a fashion designer and failed. Mm. And then he said, you know what I want more than being a fashion designer? That girl. Aww. So he went out, went to school, studied, was an RT, stayed far away from her, saved up as much money as possible. And he just knew in the front, the back, in the middle of his head, he was going to run into her somehow, some way. Wow. Ten years goes by. And they meet up at a party. No way. And he says, this right here is my shot. Wow. He tells her, I am not broke anymore. Woo! Hallelujah. He had six figures saved. And he said, I spent all this time saving because I know when I come back to you, I need all of this money and security for our future. Okay. So that's why it was so important to him mm. to buy the house, the cars, have this extravagant, beautiful wedding, take her all around the world. Love that. And right then and there, I said, this is a couple right here. Mm -hmm. And she said, I know it may sound like I'm marrying him because he has money, but no, I'm marrying him because now he's determined and motivated. Ooh. And he's not who he was yep. 10 plus years ago. The underlying moral of the story isn't so much that she needs money. It's that she needs a grown man Amen. to take care of her. A provider. Man, I heard that story and I fell to my knees. <sighs> That's real. A man who wants you is going to work for you. Yes. That's just it. I, I respected that, man. That's I respected huge. That. That's incredible because it's something... I wouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that determination. I love that he worked so hard and that that's all that it took to inspire him. Like that for that's the thing. That's this should be a lesson for women out there. Like if the man is not willing to work to get better, has no ambition, you need to live that nigga where he at. Well, there's one thing you said you wouldn't do, and that's spin the block. But she yes. did. Yeah, she spent the block. 
but she but she also there there probably didn't break up like on the terms that like I broke up with people for. So there wasn't like some crazy drama involved. Why do you think you always experience crazy drama? Are you dating? Are you dating crackheads? <laughs> I think I stay around too long. I think I let like my emotions flood what's actually happening. Because I'm like, oh, I want to stay with this person and like believe that they'll change. But mm -mm. Mm. Mm. the love be too deep, at least on my end. Not that deep. Oh my gosh! You don't even want to wear a shirt. For I will not wear a shirt. Or a PJ. <laughs> Would you match PJs with your child? Yes. Because it's a child. That's who's supposed to wear matching clothes. Children. What if your adults. husband was like, I want to jump in too. No! No! <laughs> you immature <laughs> whore? Yeah. Grow up. <laughs> I feel like, no, Take I feel like. <laughs> 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 no, I feel like, I mean, it's appropriate to like, for like, you know, match with kids. But I, don't, I like I said, I don't feel like it's. I need to wear the same exact color. I think co color coordination is just fine. That's it. That's all you need. You don't have to beat it over the head. We are a family. Look at us. We are a family. We're happy. We're so happy. <laughs> would you, if you guys all went to Disney World, would you wear mat the matching ears? Oh, that's fine. Yeah. That's not too much. I can see what's going on with you. <laughs> what? All these rules. We can wear the ears, but we yeah. can't wear words. Yeah, yeah, we can't wear the words. <laughs> we, we can wear colors, but we can't, we can't wear phrases. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All these parameters, you know, there's boundaries. I'd be, I'd be scared to, me to mess up around you. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Are you wearing the same jeans as me? <laughs> no, if, yo, if you are, yo, that's Jesus a real pro that's you? another problem. Are you dating a Puerto Rican? Oh, <laughs> you got too sad, babe. Okay. Oh, snap. I love y'all, by the way. <laughs> 51st state. Oh, almost. Did they really make it a state? Not crystal. I, it's been, it's literally not a state officially. I know it's a part of the United States, but it's not like. Because for a long time, it was a commonwealth. So it was like in between. I, I don't mean that. We only got 50 states. Okay, okay. I was like. You know, it's just. It's, they bought it. Yeah, yeah. That's it, though. That's it. That's it, though. <laughs> it's, uh, no. Too many Spanish speakers. Right, right, right. You can't be one of us for real. Okay. Mm. This ain't Texas. All right. Puerto Rico. That was just. Like, <laughs> good people of Puerto, Puerto Rico. Go. The fact that he said it like that, yo. <laughs> the, yo, I, yo, shout out to Trump for having his Twitter back. I'm so excited about that. Have you been enjoying his <laughs> tweets? Uh, okay, so he did put a tweet out about um, DeSantis that I was like, because, you know, the Florida State thing just happened where um, undefeated team, school that I went to, that I went to, shout out to FSU, um, yeah, undefeated team, and they weren't admitted to the playoffs. And uh, Trump said, basically made a tweet saying, like, it was, like, DeSantis' fault some kind of way. And then called him, like, de-sanctimonious or something. <laughs> Ron like, de-sanctimonious. Ron de-sanctimonious. So, yeah, I was like, I got a kick out of that. He, like, he really <laughs> missed his calling. He should have been, like, a comedian because he will literally come for anybody. Like, he, he says what? Ever comes to mind. I like his voice. His voice it's just is so funny. funny. Yeah. Like, hey, the money. Money. Um, Biden the other day uh, said um, uh, something along the lines of like, if Trump, if Trump ran for president, I would run too. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you would so again. Now, now wait a minute. Now, right, uh, wait. Uh, Joe. <laughs> Robin oh, it. Right. Oh, uh, Joe. Joe. Yeah. You are running, Jeff. Right. You um, barely. As we go into the new year, this is going to be a big year. Yeah. Big election, election year. year. Another year. You know, in 2019, I remember being in December mm -hmm. and just being like, dang, we're not even really doing a lot of election stuff right now. Mm -hmm. And for it to become the whirlwind that it was in 2020. Oh, yeah. Because um, I was used to 2015 when mm -hmm. it was election like 
the, a full year before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but uh, I don't know. Over the head chill. with it. Yeah, it was kind of chill. Even now, mm-hmm. we've had some Republican debates, but mm-hmm. it's not like it's not like in on like it's not in full steam. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know when when you start hearing wild stuff, mm-hmm. Officer Tatum come out of nowhere. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> putting out million view videos. Right. Everybody on TikTok saying why I left the Democratic Party. Right, you right, know, right. Uh, all that drama, coming, all the stuff. You mm-hmm. know, it all comes together. All the juice. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, are you looking forward to to uh, voting for Joe Biden again? Fuck no. You couldn't pay me to vote for him again. Why you don't like Joseph? I don't see why anyone does like him. Well, he's for the blacks. Oh, man. And he really, like, sold that. I remember he made that comment, like, when he was running. He said, like, well, you guys have to vote for me. You're black. (laughs) (laughs) That should have been the exact reason why niggas didn't vote for him. But, no, people vote. Even me included. But, yeah, no. He, He needs to, first of all, like... He's very elderly. He really needs to like he let it go. Like he needs to just bow out of the worries peacefully. And if Kamala's gonna be the front runner, let her do it. But he's like, it's kind of embarrassing, like how he's like making these speeches and he clearly is like doesn't know what he's talking about, forgetting stuff. But beyond that, like, I'm sorry. He's just giving away so much money to other countries. It's like he doesn't see anything happening wrong in America. Like, none of us here need any kind of help. <laughs> like, it's just everyone else. <laughs> and I don't even know where they're getting the budget for all this, seeing as how we're supposedly in debt all this money to, like, places like China and stuff like that. But, Let me play devil's advocate. Go ahead. I, I hear that all the time. Like, of course, we, we yeah. Get, I'm uh, sure a lot of people talking about no, it. No, I hear it all the time that, like, we get nothing. We get nothing. Nothing. What about the fact that they could say, if you don't have a job, you get unemployment. If you don't have health insurance, the state might give it to you, depending on where, what state you live in. Uh, what about WIC? Uh, 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 what is it called? Food food stamps. Food stamps. It's not enough. Um, None of all of that stuff. Enough. So any of the, the social stuff that they give us. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're talking about? Or, or like, what more do you think you would want? Uh, um well here's the thing all these like social services like stuff it's really not enough like if you make under a certain amount like they'll give you like 200 and something dollars worth but let's face it we're in a recession so everything has gone up so like technically we're not okay technically we're not but for the most people for the most part people are like struggling more than they have like things Mm -hmm. cost more in general yeah um but yeah, these social services like aren't enough. It's not like they give you in, like enough to like last for an entire month. Like that's not what happens. Mm-hmm. It's just like it's enough to kind of help you out, but you also like need to be able to like work. Like no one in any state like is the minimum wage like adequate unless you're working like 80 hours a week to like fully support like everything that you need. Cuz like like for example, even in my job now, I work in education, so obviously it's not like great. But um, like, in order to afford like a insurance, like yeah, you have you can get coverage, but like it's a decent amount out of your check every week. So if you're getting that, and I, I honestly don't understand how people like are paying for kids. Like I'm just like I'm barely taking care. I wouldn't say barely, but like I don't have the money to do everything I would like to do for myself. Mm. So I'm just like. And you think it would be better if. Like, and this is the same thing everyone else is saying. Like, I feel like Trump at least gave us stimmies. Joe acting like we don't need shit out here. And we do. Okay. Uh, let me play devil's advocate again. Trump gave out the stimmies mm-hmm. in the moment when the, the pandemic was mm-hmm. in full force. Mm-hmm. And co- businesses were down. Mm-hmm. When by the time Joe Biden came in 2021, things were kind of slowly rising up again. Mm, very and slowly. It, and it wasn't as uh, forceful on businesses needing to shut down. Now, here in California, it was. Um, but I think we continue to get unemployment, that, uh, that pandemic unemployment for a good minute. So we didn't even get all our pandemic money. Like I still had like two thousand dollars left. Like there's a lot of people that didn't get all their money out. 
Okay. So like we're just kind of like forced to go back to work like out of nowhere. Well, just I'm I'm just saying mm-hmm. the stimmies that Trump gave us mm-hmm. I think twelve hundred dollars was it right? Yeah, twelve hundred. Twelve hundred dollars and uh, was it two times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We got two at least times. twice. Um, is that enough to to make you feel like well, at least we got that? Is that enough? Um, I wouldn't say like it's enough, but I feel like, like you just said, at least we got that. Like, I felt like Joe just kind of like acted like we didn't need anything. Like, I feel like he didn't make any kind of effort. And like, I feel like Americans are struggling more now than they have in a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, I could see it. Like everyone is talking about, oh, I'm too broke for Christmas. I, I don't have money for this. I don't have money for that. Like, I hear it so much. And I'm just like. You know, a, st- a stimmy might, yeah, $1,200, you could blow through that fast. Like, yeah, it's not enough, but at least it would be, it would help a little. Mm. Like, and I'm just like, I don't see how we have, we have aid for all these other places. And like, people over here struggle. Like. Here's my question for you. Mm-hmm. If we get a, a, a Republican that comes into office, mm-hmm. let's say it's Trump again. Okay. He wouldn't have the legal like backing to give more stimulus because there's not going to be a pandemic again. Right. So is that the expectation? No, not necessarily. <clears throat> I would imagine that um, the economy, I don't, I mean, I don't know all the math behind all of this, but I would hope that the economy would like continue or would get better than what it is right now. So there you're has saying, to be some kind of you don't like Joe Biden's economic policy. Yeah, none of them. Mm-hmm. I just and other stuff that I just feel like doesn't isn't really important is happening, and I don't know. I just don't feel like the country's in a good place right now. Mm-hmm. You know something I noticed? There's a lot of young Christians. Mm-hmm. Which I would say seven years ago was not the deal. Mm. It was like the opposite. Yeah. Everybody was trying to not be Christian. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it was... I even see on some of the lefty pages I follow on Facebook, yeah. they're kind of anti-Christian. Yeah, I bet. You know? Uh, do you think the pendulum is swinging in the other direction when it comes to the United States? How people are like... Finding the value in church, finding the value in, in God and Christ hmm. and uh, family, things of that nature. Interesting. Um, I'm not seeing... Okay, well, like, that's a good question. Um, I don't see it in a large way yet, but I feel like it is kind of going that way. Um, I feel like for a long time we had, like, this burst of, like, spirituality. Like, everyone, I'm spiritual, I'm spiritual. Like, you're hearing that all the time. Um, I, you know, crystals and blah, 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 all this stuff. Um, and I think that I feel like we've probably gone so far into hell, basically, with just like all these policies and everything goes nowadays and like just like a bunch of shit, basically. And I feel like people are like, you know what? We need Jesus. Like we are in a mess right now. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's a little bit of truth to that. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of... Uh, people per se like at my church that I go to but I do feel like people's minds are opening up a little bit at least more to it yeah I see that I see I see it in the dating field interesting yeah a lot oh I mean it's like uh four or five women really yeah that I encounter are like I'm looking for somebody who goes to church every single week and wow I, I need you know, I'm looking for a husband I'm looking mm-hmm. for somebody who walks with God and all this yeah. stuff. And, uh, and it's kind of surprised me. That's interesting. But you know what? With women, I feel like you'll find that. But I, I, if I was to get on a website, I don't think I would find men that would do that. Because you go to church. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, like you go to church and it's always filled with women. Like women are usually like the devout ones. Even if the, you know, they, they are married, it's like the, the husband may come every once in a while or he may just stay home. Like. So I, it doesn't surprise me, I guess, too much that it's women. But like, I know I'm not gonna get on a what on a on a site and see a bunch of men like going to Bible study. Like that's just not <laughs> what's gonna happen. <laughs> They're trying to go see some hoes and things. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to my dad about this the other day, and mm-hmm. I mean, this is the thing about elderly people. 
they think that like whatever's happening in their town is mm. the whole country. Oh well, yeah, right. But I was trying to explain. I think religion is upheld by women. Upheld by most part. oh yeah, for Almost sure. Almost every religion. Yeah. It's something about religion that guys don't totally mesh with. Yeah. It might just be like the rules and the laws, or just maybe the fact that men are internally just like re- reckless, mm. and they just they they don't want to feel bad about all the Guilt. crazy things they do. Yeah, yeah. Um. And do you think it's authority figure too? It it could be. Mm. It could be. And then I also think that women are attached to church because of children. Mm. Like when they have kids, women yeah. have this probably a stronger emotional bond to the kid. Yeah. And they're like, I need to show this kid Jesus. Yeah, you I need know? to like raise them Versus the right the way. Versus the dad is like, yo, I don't care. follow me. Yeah, like, yeah, I'll yeah. I'll show you what, what you, you need know? to do. Yeah, I'll show yeah, you. yeah, yeah. So uh, I think that that's another thing mm-hmm. that when a woman that's another gets factor. to the, that point of like, I want to have a kid. Mm-hmm. I know there's somebody in my family who um, a, lo- a lot of their like brothers and sisters left the church, but then when she had a, a kid, she started going to church faithfully. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. you don't want to leave? And she was like, well, I got the kids now, and mm-hmm. I just want them to grow up in church. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, my I, mom did I, that. Yeah. You know, I think that's how that goes. Yeah. Because I, I don't know. Like, when I talk to my mom about people that I knew in church way back in the day, mm-hmm. she always like, oh, yeah, sister is. She's there every week. Yeah. And I'd be like, what about brother that? And she's like, uh, you yeah, know. you know, he'd be at the liquor store. Yeah. Well, not, not even like, she, she just yeah. like, hey, you don't really go like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, anymore. yeah. Like maybe at first when the kids were young. Mm-hmm. Now the kids are adults. You're yeah. Just like, eh, whatever. Yeah. You know? That's very true. It's definitely a more women dominated yeah. atmosphere. Yeah. Would you marry somebody who was uh, an atheist? No, hell no. What about a um, an agnostic? No, unless they could be transformed. Yeah, um, I'm actually, yeah, I was, you know, I'm kind of, I don't, I want, I'm cool. I'm loosely talking to someone that is like that, um, but, but they're curious. Like, it, I can't have a. There's no way I can like really take someone like that serious, and we differ on something like that big because that's like a big part of my life. So I can't just be like, oh, and in a religious sense like the bible talks about being equally yoked with a person mm-hmm. um and i fa- and i cuz i i usually look outside of church to date people like i don't i usually typically always date people that they believe in god but they don't be going to church um but when someone doesn't have like the same faith as you like it can cause problems well of course yeah yeah but uh it depends on the people i would say cuz mm-hmm. um i was reading this forum the other day and mm-hmm. there was, it was like a, talk to me about your mixed religion household. Mm. And it was a lot of like, my husband is Muslim, I'm Catholic, oh. 30 years married, mm-hmm. all good. And I think you have to be, both people have to be A-OK with the fact that like, we're not doing the walking into church, holding hands, family thing. Yeah, like yeah. It's going to be separate. And then you also have to be OK with knowing that your kid either and how is the kids gonna be raised yeah to it or they're not you mm-hmm. know which I, I i think sometimes like could be confusing but also not really because i grew up in a house that like my parents were one religion but my grandparents who lived with us were a different religion mm. and to me it's not like i grew up like what's going on <laughs> you know yeah. i just was like oh okay that's what my grandma be doing and i go to my grandma's church sometimes and then I just kind of picked which one I like. Yeah, because yeah. Because my parents put a gun to my head. Yeah, yeah. You know? I was like, they ain't pick. They pick for you, yeah, right? You know, but yeah. still, it wasn't like that. Yeah. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I have a feeling in me that says that. Yes, you should be equally yoked, but it shouldn't only be about religion, because there's mm-hmm. some people who are the same religion. But they look at the religion differently. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's where you get the spiritual folks and yeah, yeah, like da, 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 you know, the different levels of mm-hmm. you know how you take the religion. Yeah. And whatnot. I think a part of being equally yoked is you being able to agree on whatever your household decides to agree on. Mm-hmm. So I think it's it's complicated when there's kids involved because, like, obviously. 
one person or both people will want to raise their kids in a certain religion. So it could cause issues. But yeah, I'm sure there's mixed religion households that make it work. I just, for me, um, that's one of the things I would want to agree on. Yeah. yeah. You would have to go, you would want to go to church every single week together. Not necessarily, but I need them to have like a similar faith. And, but ideally, I would want them to like enjoy church and stuff the way I do. Because I do go to a church where it's like couples. It's not just women. It's like full families that go together. Mm-hmm. So like I, that's what I would want ideally. Um, I don't want to be like the only one that goes and he's at home every single week. Like I'm just like, dang. Like, <laughs> but, Come once. Uh, yeah, show up. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard, I think, for men. Mm-hmm. If you're listening to this and you're you're in a mixed religion um, household, how do you guys do it? And how do you guys do it with the kids? Do you let them choose? Do mm-hmm. you guys ever argue about, you know, who who gets to influence Ooh. the kids? Yeah. Um, if that's a thing, drop a comment. Let us know. Yeah. All right. What else? Um, ooh, I'm trying to think. What else did we talk? Um. Oh, that that debate. Mm-hmm. I would love to see the whole um, the whole you know footage of that. But yeah, so DeSantis and um, our governor Newsom got in a red state versus blue state debate, mm-hmm. and it was quite interesting. Uh, apparently, DeSantis put up a poop map. <laughs> Um, displaying, saying that like San Francisco is one of the most beautiful cities in the United States, and now it's mostly covered in poop. And here's a map showing like where all the poop is in San Francisco. I'm not, I'm not upset about that tactic. <laughs> Petty Prince okay. DeSantis. Here's the thing: if the poop is there, it is always there. If the poop is there, it's in LA too, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yo, they they they're doing a little bit of cleaning up. They are cleaning up here. Shout out to Karen Bass. I've there. noticed. Yeah, I went down to this area where I used to take headshots, mm-hmm. and it used to be like ninety tenths. Oh yeah, in Hollywood. Nope. Oh, which here one? In North Hollywood. Oh, in North Hollywood. Is it one under one of the underpasses? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, it was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. It happened fast too. Oh yeah. It's like I took headshots there, and then like a month later. Pew, Home. Tent City, yeah. I drove past there yesterday, or maybe three days ago, and I, I, I thought I was lost. Oh. I'm like, oh, snap. Isn't this the place with all the tents? I only saw one. Dang. Wow. They are cleaning up. Even around, like, um, there's a street, not the street that I live on, but, like, I don't know, um, perpendicular to my street that used to have, like, home, like tents. And they would come on, like, every Monday I would notice, like, they would, the police and, like, um, some kind of cleaning crew would come and, like, a lot of the tents would move and then they kept setting back up. And then finally, like, they cleared, like, most of that whole block. Um, and then I saw something when when they, when they that uh, freeway caught fire, when the tent was, like, on fire a couple weeks ago and they had to close it down. Karen Bass had announced that, like, they've taken at least, like, 11,000 homeless people off the street. So where did they put them? I don't know exactly, but I'm guessing some sort of like housing um, facilities. But I mean, the state has de- definitely has the money; they have the ability to do it. Um, uh, but yeah, it's I mean, it's a good thing that they're housing them, but because it was definitely out of control. If they could turn LA back to like 2013, LA, damn, that was a Party. And we had no clue how good we had it at that yeah, time. For real. Like for real. it was like totally different place when we moved here. Like you it know, was dirty then, yeah. but it isn't this dirty as fuck now. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. it's not even yeah. safe around this yeah. bitch. Like <laughs> I remember the worst thing was like, oh, Hollywood smells like urine. Yeah, yeah. And weed. Like that's what I remember. Like, oh, it smells like pee and weed. Now it smells like everything. It smells like, like crack. Right, crack, cocaine. There is needles you everywhere. Know. You are not safe in Hollywood streets. Like so, but I know that if that's if all of this stuff that I'm noticing is Karen Bass. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, is she coming through the yeah. 
I like it. I do. Um, I still support Rick Caruso a little bit. Oh like, my god! Like going to the Grove. Uh oh, going to the like Grove. Going, like going to the Grove. Yo, in, in that one and the yeah. his spot in Pacific Palisades by my old job, they were like, "Oh yeah, like he built this property." I'm like, "Yo, it's beautiful." My man knows how to build a beautiful property. He he does his thing. You could hate as much as you want, right? But I went to the Grove the other night. Oh, it has all the Christmas decorations oh, yeah. up. It's pretty. I had a mediocre meal. And I was so happy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dang it. Winter Wonderland in this. This feels bitch. amazing. Right. Yeah, Next, I'm going to go to the Marathon. Yeah. Does he own that too? Yeah. Wow, that makes sense. He's great at yeah. that stuff. He's really great at that He's stuff. He's great at that stuff. Yeah. Um. No, there's nothing better than going to the Grove. Mm -hmm. the, the Grove Apple Store. It's nice. Oh my gosh. You wow. Know, they got a mirror on the ceiling. Oh. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. They don't that makes me want to go. I, I drove past the Grove last night. I should have went in. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. I actually started going to the gym by the Grove. Oh. Because it's just so nice. You go yeah. You drive by that like Alana building. Uh huh. In Glen Glendale was like this like random, beautiful area. Yeah, Glendale is nice. Random. Mm hmm. But one thing I do love about what's happening in L.A. right now is the fact that rent is going down. Hey, is it? it is. I know they're putting caps on how much they could raise the rent, but so it's going down. That's no, even it's better. Down. I can't 100% explain, but I do know that has to we do We need to gatekeep on that. We don't need nobody moving out here thinking they can get a cheap apartment. It's not going to be cheap. It's okay. L.A. Yeah, but yeah. Like, if you're used to already paying mm -hmm. thousands of dollars a month, yeah. That's going to be $100 less. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It went down $50. Yeah. You're welcome. Stay in Atlanta. Right, right. Stay wherever the fuck you are. And I know y'all like to brag about Atlanta. Oh, right. I live in Atlanta. Oh, I live in Atlanta. God. Uh, we get it. We understand. Okay. We get it. It's great over there. Nah, a horrible customer service from what I hear. Oh, they... You've been watching Keith Lee videos. Uh, not only that, like, I've been hearing that, and, like, they just say it's, like, very overrated. And, like, they charge for everything. That's sad story about black-owned business. You be wanting to support them, but... <laughs> well, what path are you taking me down, <laughs> From what they be saying, especially about Atlanta... That customer service is bad, and they finna tax the hell out of you for everything. Why would you speak on black business this way? <laughs> black business this is the heartbeat of America. <laughs> They're going to make your heart stop with them prices. Um, okay, if you had to choose, this is going to be a good one. Ooh. If you had to choose between these black cities to visit... Mm -hmm. Which one would you choose? Ooh. You have Atlanta. Okay. Chicago. Mm. And Houston. I'm picking Houston. Why? Because um, it's in the South. So I know I'm going to love the music. Um, I feel like the food's going to be amazing. It's in the South, once again. Um, they had a lot of, like, um, after Katrina, a lot of you know, influence from Louisiana. Um, so the food has to be like A1 um, because of that. Um, I heard the people are like really attractive. Um, and yeah, I mean, Beyonce's from there, so it has to be a great place. All right, let's do another quiz. Okay. If we had to pick a black city to go to, we have DC. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is hard. I ran out of black cities. Oh, um, DC, Oakland. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I'm trying to make this positive. <laughs> we got Oakland, Watts. <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right. Shoot. Okay. Let me think of the uh, DC, mm -hmm. Brooklyn. Oh. Or Detroit. Okay. Uh, I got to give it to Brooklyn. But that's all. But I, I mean, the only reason I'm not giving it to D.C. Because I haven't been there. And I've been to Detroit. Detroit was cool. Uh, I have 
an aunt that lived there. So I've been, but I was a kid, so I didn't get to really experience it or whatever. But I've heard a lot of great things about DC. So I would love to visit DC at some point. But I know I'm gonna have a good time every time I go to New York. Like that's like, uh, of course. All right, I went to DC this year. How was it? You liked it, right? DC is fire. Yes. See, yeah. DC is super fire. Everywhere mm-hmm. you go during the daytime, black. Love that. And it's dope. Yeah. Go inside mm-hmm. at night. Oh shit! Yeah, it's dangerous. But during the daytime, but during the day, it's a, it's great. I had a great time. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, there wasn't a peace tree in sight. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see Ti over there yelling once. Right, right, right. It was just Natalie Nunn yelling. Right. Oh shoot! Did you hear about that? No. What happened? She went to um the 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 yard. I want to say in D.C. What's the yard? It's like a black-owned uh, restaurant. Okay. And you know she's on Ratchet Zeus. Network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the queen of it. Yes. She was like a big man. Yeah. And they... <laughs> <laughs> Why you call her saucy shit? Right. <laughs> she's like fucking Jay Leno, basically. The big face. Okay, then. Mm-hmm. But I like Jay Leno. She just, like, I don't I know. I just don't like Natalie now. She just seemed like so trifling. Okay, well, she went to this restaurant in... And if I got the name wrong, I'm sorry, but Natalie Nunn goes to this restaurant in D.C. and they said, we don't like none of that Zeus garbage. <laughs> she said she put down her American Express card just to showcase that she bought that money. Right. I got that money. Okay. Right after they caught her on like a spirit flight or Southwest. <sighs> Not spirit. Okay. Oh, she wasn't on spirit. <laughs> <laughs> All that money and you all spirit. Okay. She <laughs> said she got the Zeus private jet. Oh, please. But mm-hmm. they caught her on a commercial flight. Oh, man. Not even in first class. Next to the toilet. No! <laughs> <laughs> so the Total rest- tank whiffs all flight. <laughs> so the restaurant said, we don't want none of that rashness here. Right. Get out! Ooh, they kicked her out. They kicked her out. Dang. And she said, there's no way this restaurant is black owned because they kicked out black excellence. Well, it turns out it is black owned. Mm-hmm. Would you, if you were the owner of a restaurant and Natalie Nunn came into your business or your establishment, would you kick her out? No. Only because I feel like she could post and like it would be beneficial to me. But if she started acting ratchet, she'd have to get the fuck. Like it depend. Like I feel like she could potentially do your business some good just because of like who she is. But, like, I understand why they felt so strongly because, obviously, like, Zeus is, like, trash, trash, trash. Even though I be fucking with Jocelyn's Cabaret on there. That's my jam. You still watch it after the strike? Oh, hell yeah. Of course. It's, it, I mean, I don't know that that show was ever affected. I, ain't nobody union on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> when the strike was happening, Zeus went up. Oh, oh, okay. But now the strike is over, people got Netflix back again. Oh, okay. Dang. Wow. Well, yeah, I, I watched it for that. I don't watch anything else on there. But yeah, um, I could see why I, I, I understand 100% why he would want to kick her out of there. Um, but if it was my restaurant, like, I'd be like, for clout reasons, I'm like, yeah, shout me out, whatever, whatever, that you're at this restaurant so I can get more people to come. Like, oh, because, I mean, she has her own network and followers of people that support her. So, but I mean, I don't know that you want that clientele, but. <laughs> But yeah, how do you feel about it? Would you kick her out? I don't know enough about it. Okay. So I just treat her like everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if she did come in and she start throwing stuff and yelling and mm-hmm. stuff, then I take a picture of her. Yeah, put yeah. Put her on the wall. Yeah. So the next time you come over here, with a spit. Right. Right on your shoes. Right on. And uh, that's pretty much what I have to do with that. That's it. Um, now it's. Sexy red king. No man, booty hole brown. <laughs> <laughs> I like sexy red. Do you? Yeah, I just don't like um, the song "Free My Baby Daddy." Oh my gosh, I, I like haven't it. heard that one. Yeah, but that her sounds like her twerking. Oh. She, Free my baby daddy. Damn. I don't like it. I love it. Oh. Yeah, I like sexy red a lot. Really? She's awful. I love Glorilla. Glorilla is over with. No, she's not. She just came out with a new song. I don't know the name of it, but... 
She's not over this. It's it's rap time. You're hating. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Orlando Brown and Glorilla working the same nine to five together. Oh my gosh, never. Not to say they're both on whatever Orlando Brown is on. Dude. I'm just saying, time's up. Oh no, no. Glorilla's no. I, I'm surprised you still remember who she is. Oh my gosh, you're exaggerating. Sexy Red has come and swept up all of Gorilla's fame. She's not sexy at all, but... Did you see that porn she did? Nobody asking about this. <laughs> I didn't watch it. Thank God no one sent me that mess. Okay, I'll send it. <laughs> no! Please don't. Please don't. You have to disguise it as something else. Like, click here for $5,000. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> God, just like... <laughs> no, it wasn't all that crazy. Oh, yeah. I just... I didn't not... see it, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> What's it? Is it playing now? <laughs> on your computer. <laughs> No, oh, that's yeah. my girl, man. Sexy Red. Shout out Sexy Red, but everybody knows who's my real girl. Who? Ice Spice. Oh, yes. I love her. You know, Ice Spice is born in the 2000s. I could believe that. She's she half Dominican. I always fuck with Ice Spice. She's half Dominican? Yeah, she's and Dominican African. and, yeah, Nigerian. Oh, damn. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I support it. Um, okay. Well, um, anything else? That's all that, yeah. Are you promoting anything? Uh, Not right now. Okay. No. Come see me at a show sometime around, sometime this month. I don't know when. Sick. Yep. You've been working out? Yeah, still. I need to not be eating during the holidays. It's a hard time. But I have still been working out because this gym is expensive. So, yeah, that never stops. Mm-hmm. And your TikTok career? Uh, It's still a thing. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Is there anybody you want to diss before we go? Not at the top, but... Feminists? They're not catching it one today? They're always catching it. Uh, purple hair freaks. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I'm one of them. Right. Oh, God. Ally. Ally. Whatever it is. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll send you back to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Send you back to the lovely... Puerto Rico. City, state, <laughs> country of... Puerto Rico. Throw him some paper towels. Yes. Oh, ah, man. Blah. Towel. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. If you enjoyed this episode, leave us uh, a five star review if you're listening to the audio. Hey. If you enjoyed this video hey. on YouTube, leave us a great comment, a like, share it with your friends. And if you're watching uh, anything that we do on Instagram, please drop a comment. TikTok, drop a comment, drop a like. Even if it's say, I'm dumb, I'll probably agree with you. <laughs> okay? We love it. We love all the comments. All right. Thanks, everybody, for paying attention. And we'll see you next week. So long. See you.